Good morning. It has warmed up to a brisk zero degrees. We had a little bit of a flash freeze last night. It wasn't supposed to get too cold, but it got really cold, like 10 below. Got the fire going. Danielle is working on the crossword. Mm -hmm. We've been We're almost done. Yeah. We're trying we to get it done before the trip ends. We've been working on this mega crossword and it's pretty funny because like you think that you're hung up or stuck and then you put it down and come back to it and it's amazing you can get a bunch more every every day or every after you put it down for a little while we're looking for a, a clue it says we're looking for enlightenment. <laughs> five letters type of trout that danielle catches that are giant <laughs> begins with a b and ends in a k <laughs> brick <laughs> Brick. We're thinking brick trout. <laughs> Fire's going. I let it burn out last night and I got up around like five this morning to get it going again because everything froze solid in here. Like all the water jugs, water on the pot, water in the mugs, water in the percolator. It was, it might have been more than 10 below. But things are thawing now. We're thawing now. And we're looking forward to having a really good day. We're going to drive some breakfast right into us first. Uh, maybe some hot coffee. Got that perkin right now. Oh, she's fired right up. Turn that down a bit. And then we're going to make a plan of what we're going to do for the day. It's going to be a fun day. I, I know that no matter what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> four. I think four and I was like, all right, that's my number. So I gave him to an Indian. There's an Indian girl I know that, that had a pile of chicken. And they were well protected. Because she had a bunch of like big dogs. Hmm. So I gave him to her. You know who's got chickens now is uh, Sarah, and she's got them all named. Yeah, she does like the chicken series. Have you seen that? I've been watching. Oh, it's great! I love it. Yeah, the funniest one where she was like that I've watched so far is like she was trying to do one for another one for one, and then like another one jumped in, like took over the interview. Nah, I didn't <laughs> see that one. Yeah. Oh my god, I got to see like, it. Classic, like this is. So this one's personality like takes over. Oh my, I gotta see that then. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Sled running. That sounds awesome. Every year he puts on. And they like maintain it. I, he has old, he has old um, snow plowers that go on the back of the that horses, like draft horses Whoa. do it. So it's like a big rolling pin. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. Is it in our area? Do you know her? Hogback Mountain is in like Freedom. No good. Like that area. I like discovered it. Yeah, I was at the library and somehow came across this video. I was like, this looks interesting. Like anything that's called like now we're cooking and it's like a main homemade documentary I'm like I'm watching this but then when I was working in freedom I would hike the hogback mountain and I realized oh this is the same mountain that they do the racing on and like I came across the course and saw the big wheel I saw the big whatever that is is the mountain decent like what is it compared to like ragged oh small small yeah yeah but the trails are gorgeous. Or is it Hogback or Fry Mountain? They're in the same area. Oh, there is a Fry Mountain that's in, the, in um, Freedom. That's the one maybe it's on Fry Mountain. <laughs> or, no, Fry is maybe the one that I used to hike a lot, but I think that the race is on Hogback, but anyway. Have you been to the, the Camden, like, uh, toboggan? races have you oh, seen that toboggan championships yeah. i have a long time ago but this what happened this year i was 
That's when that cold snap happened. Oh, was it? Yeah, so they had to do like the whole thing. Usually it's on, I think it's usually on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So they had to do all the races on just the one day on Sunday. That's bad luck. The only cold day of the year. <laughs> yeah. I've awoken the beast. Oh, hi. Behind the scenes mm. with Joe Holland fishing. I'm cooking breakfast. Nice. And look. The man is back in bed. Back in the bear's den. Caught. I believe. <laughs> Man, these poles are so short. <laughs> yeah, they're for the uh, little people. Ooh. These are pretty sweet. Okay, now it feels like it's not even. All right, tubby's on. Here's your thing. Sorry. Right. Oh. oh, you got that on video? Hey, look at this. All right. Yeah, dude. Is it all right? Yeah. I mean, they're, it's going to be great once I get it. It's probably hey, be better in the woods, too. Yeah, this is going to be great. Do you think you might go up this trail? What do you think? I, which way do you think I should go, left or right? You know I'm the most indecisive person in the world. Probably left. I was gonna say right. Well, I always say right, but I don't know how these trees are gonna treat you. Probably right. Go right. Yeah, go right. Right looks better to me. In my head, I was gonna drop you off right here so you could go that way anyway. Like, go and then. Yep. So you'll. It's just navigating. You'll this hit first the end few. of this. It's not too much further past what you could see the end of this road. I slept there one night. It was just because I'm feeling like that way up is gonna be nicer. Yeah. That kind of looks more extreme. Ah, doesn't I'm pretty matter. sure you got some steepness. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. You'll probably hit less snow if you get into that green growth, but I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking like going up yeah. here and then just cutting. Once you hit the green. I'm pumped for you. I don't know of any streams or anything, but yeah. if it is, it's just minor. You want another? Nope, nope, that's good, perfect. Okay. All right, I'm pretty excited. That is gonna, I'm glad I wore my, I'm glad I wore this thing. My gaiters. Yeah? These are army issued wool. Oh, nice. Wool and leather. All right. Well, well I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. Yeah? And watch me go? No. You want another one? Nope, I'm gonna seize. Okay guys, Danielle is gonna climb this awesome mountain I call Sawabungi. She's got a work cut out for you. As you can see, there's blowdowns everywhere. There's been a tornado that's come through and we got quite a bit of snow. It's way steep. So she's got her snowshoes, she's got her poles, she's got a pretty heavy pack, and she's I got water. She got water. I got snacks. Got extra layers. We got a really late start. Got you know, a headlamp. Yep. I have my emergency rescue beacon. I have first aid kit. I have an extra light. I have a knife, fire starters, a lighter, toilet paper. It is one o'clock yep. now, so. It's kind of a rush trip because we're going to meet at 4.30 right back here. I'm going to go shed hunting or just exploring on the snowmobile. So that makes me feel really good and this makes her feel really good. So we're splitting ways. Mm -hmm. We're both going to get energized so we don't kill each other tonight. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I don't know if she's got enough time to make it up there or not, but she's an animal and I have no fear with her because she just spent three years hiking across and a continent doing this same thing, but even bigger. The continent. This is probably not the biggest mountain she's ever climbed. <laughs> no, but this is a hill challenge because it's no trail. 
Yeah. And um, in the in really deep snow. And you're bushwhacking. Mm-hmm. Bushwhacking. So. Yeah, it might take me a lot longer than I might suspect, but. And you have a you have a, t a phone. I mean a time device. Yes, I have awesome. my watch. My. T mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. We're good to go. Okay. Yeah. You feeling good? Yeah, I feel great. Okay, you look great. Here, one more. Shot of liquid courage. Liquid courage. That's coffee. Coffee. I'm gonna watch you go for a little while too. Yeah, you're gonna send the drone? I don't know if I brought it. I think I left it in the truck. Mm. But I can run back and grab it. Okay. But it'd be hard to fly with this wind. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this wind came from, guys. It was not supposed to rain or get blowing straight sideways today. So we're gonna we're it's gonna get back shower. to camp at dark. We're hoping it's still standing. But you know what? <laughs> if it's not standing, we'll make it back up. It's not a big deal. We'll fix it no matter what. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then we're gonna fish. The plan is to fish tomorrow. Most of the day, tear down camp, try to get out of here by tomorrow night because then there is rain coming tomorrow night. So it's never fun in the rain. But she's there's a pretty good chance she runs into a herd of moose yeah. up on the south facing bank. So she might actually run into like dozens of moose up there, which would be so cool. Put your arms up and make yourself look big if you see a moose. Okay, okay. They won't bother you. This is exciting. I'm pretty excited My for you. My first snow shoe of the season. Don't know. All right, so the plan is yes. I'm going to pick her up in three and a half hours right here if the helmet's gone and or I see her tracks before that. She's made her way back to the truck. We're in like five to seven miles from the truck already. So it's a hike back out. Yeah. Yeah. So. With darkness looming. All right, yep. have fun. All right. Break a leg. Wait, I don't know if I'm supposed to see it on there. Have fun. Thank you. Is it hard going? What? Is it hard going or okay? I mean, it's... You want my snowshoes? No. Nope. No, you don't. No. Nope. Okay. These are smaller to navigate. And on an incline, these are awesome for... Yeah. Can, oh, yeah. Whoa. Those, nice. Those yeah, nice. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. I'm happy. Have fun. <laughs> all right she is an absolute beast very very impressed that she one has the courage to do that we're up in the wilderness and two has the ability to do it too so hope it ends well hope it works out for her i know it will I'm going to do some snowmobile riding, check out some new areas on the snowmobile to me, some old areas where I used to trap, and uh, maybe I'll find an antler. I doubt it. It's We've got another foot on top of the snow since I was here last, and it crusted up too, so anything that had fallen previously, I don't even think I'll feel it if I run it over, but you never know. They drop them late. I saw some antlers on some heads the other day, so maybe they'll drop them now, but we're going to have fun no matter what. Come along. Oh, boy. It, it looks like we got an antler ahead of us. Let's get up there. Yeah, 
baby. Right through. Yeah, boys, we got an antler. <laughs> it never gets old. This one's super weird. I haven't touched it yet. But it looks like there's no moose tracks in sight. Ah, there's some old ones over there that have been snowed on. So it looks like several times. Some more in the woods over there. But there's coyote tracks all around here. So I don't know. Before I grab it, I want you guys to see it. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know if... If the coyote actually dragged it over here. I mean, it's chewed all the heck. And it's missing a big tine. I don't know if the moose broke that off or the coyote chewed it off. But there it is. Yeah, that looks like it's chewed off. Chewed on the tine there. Every one of those tines is chewed. But that one looks like it's chewed and swallowed. So, I don't know. Kind of looks like the coyote dragged it out here and was chewing on it. And he dropped it so I could pick it up. Thank you, coyote. I will not trap you for your fur this year. Oh boy. I think we got another one. I think that's one down there. Once again, I'm following these coyote tracks and anytime they deviate from the middle of the road or from the road, I go over and check it out. And here's a, here's a hole dug and it looks like there's a bone in there. Yep, that sure does look like an antler. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy, how big is it? Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm getting excited. Do I need the shovel? I don't know. I don't know if I need the shovel or not. But I think I'm going to get the shovel anyway so I can dig around this area after, but... Well, we got a point. Oh, God. Little guy. Might be a match to that one we just found. No, he's, he's a lot bigger. Way bigger. Let's get the shovel. There we go. Nice. Second one of the day. That's awesome. All right. No idea if there's anything else around. We got deep snow. All right, second one of the day. That's a nice one right there. Probably the other ones around here somewhere, but there's just so much snow and I don't have the nose of a coyote. So if he didn't find it, then it'll have to be in the spring. There's a little lump up ahead. I'll go hit with a snowmobile and see if it's an antler.
Let's go check her out. Oh, that's the cool thing about coyotes. I found more antlers from coyotes showing me where they are. All right, back at it guys. This is awesome. I made it back to the rendezvous point. I'm a little early, but it looks like it was perfect timing because I see Danielle treading down the hill. So I'm gonna drive a couple pieces of pepperoni and cheese into me. <laughs> that was you good timing. Yeah, that was good timing. You made it up. You did. You made it to the top. Yeah. Holy crap! How was it? Two hours and ten minutes it took me to get up there. But what's the time right now? Uh, about four. Yeah, so forty, forty minutes to get down. Forty to get down. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's deep up there, dude. It is? Deep. Whoa. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, man, that was hard. That was not easy. That was not easy. Well, you got a challenge. Yeah, it was not hard. Like, I mean, it was not easy. It might be the last time I saw she for like real was when I was at Skips. And we got... We got 48 inches of snow overnight, and it was powder, so I knew it would be like here. And they had asked us to go, it was I think a mile down the road to the logging company, yes. and no one was there, so they, they were like, after seven days, no one could get in. They are like, can you guys go check and make sure our generator's running so the pipes don't freeze? So we're like, oh. and we couldn't snow wheel, it was just too much on the sleds. Yeah. So we did it together, and you would... Like I had big ones, he had big ones, and he's your size. And we would still go every step down to here. It was freaking... I was in shape then. Yeah, yeah. And but it, it, it was brutal. We would do like literally 10 steps and switch. And uh, like when we yeah. switch, you would just fall. But you'd still be like this because the snow is holding you up. And yeah, you'd be yeah. like, come on. <laughs> And, and it's so it's kind of better to like did you just like stop drop and roll like all right i'll get the new path yeah like roll or I like... Liked, but it was like i remember it was as high as you could possibly lift and you had to keep your toe off and you actually had to go backwards forwards pack i we were only packing like once and stepping and just like oh yeah and then it's like <laughs> it was miserable. i think it was four or five hours to get there and like a half hour to get back once we beat the trail down. And it's like, it's like also just like really like hard on your mind. All right, shall we? Shall. All right guys, we made it out. Super, super successful for both of us. We had a great time. Both accomplished our goal. Danielle made it to the top, got around up there. She said it was pretty brutal with the snow, how deep it was. It was it was like thigh high and here's the two sheds i found super stoked about those that one's a beauty right there um doubt it's a matching set let's put them together see what you guys think i'm thinking no but they were they were super close together so yeah so pretty fun 
awesome finding those antlers we're gonna load back up and head back to camp it got crazy windy when we were out there so hopefully camp still set up since i wasn't able to screw it down to the ice and just screw down to the pegboards but we're gonna find out when we get there and <laughs> if it's a mess you know what we'll clean it up how was your hike successful tiring and a lot more snow than i expected but it was fun All right, guys, we made it back to the parking area. We got about a six, seven mile sled ride in to the camp. And the crazy thing is we had this place all to ourselves all week, plenty of parking. And I got back and there was nowhere to park. The place was full just from us leaving for this afternoon. So three, three different groups came in and uh, I'm able to find a, there's a couple there, a couple there. But I was able to find a parking spot by pretty much running her up on the snowbank pretty hard. So I hope we don't get stuck. I don't think we will. We'll shovel her out if we have to. But that's us right there. We're into it, Danielle. Yep. We're into it pretty good. All right, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Awesome, awesome day for Danielle and I. We both nailed our goals. She tried to climb a mountain with a ton of snow. And I tried to find antlers when there was a lot of snow cover and I can't believe it, but we were able to do both things. So pretty crazy. So don't, you know, don't uh, always stay positive. You know, like there's a foot of snow on top of three foot of snow on top of other antlers and somebody had already driven over this one antler I'm sure of, but the coyotes had dug it out. So the coyotes had led me to the first antler, chewed a tip off of it and set it in the trail. And then the second one, they they had dug it and I'd found it from like a hole in the snow. So it was really cool for me and just stay observant. And you know, it's not the great, it's not the best time to go antler hunting, but it worked out for me today. It was really fun. I love finding antlers. It's like, it can be super addictive. And then Danielle's climb was crazy today. Mm -hmm. A lot more snow than I anticipated. <laughs> I thought there was going to be less snow the higher I went, but um, I was proven otherwise. I don't even think I told the, the folks how high was that snow's thigh? Was it? Yeah, I was sink. yeah, thigh high. Every step. Every step, even with my snowshoes, I was sinking down. And then, so I just was able to practice patience and trying new techniques. I found new techniques to do like two little steps and then a big step in order to make the going easier. Um, so yeah, yeah, never give up and stay positive like Joe said, but I accepted that it wasn't going to be, it wasn't the hare kind of day, it was the tortoise kind of day. <laughs> nice. and Slow and steady and, and practicing patience. And, and you told me the time it took. What was the time again? Yeah, it took me two hours and ten minutes to get to the summit. Jeez. And then it took about 40 minutes to get back down <laughs> to our meeting spot. Nice. And the funny thing was we we met up within three minutes. We just showed up at a random time and we met up within like three minutes of each other, which was pretty neat too. So then the bad part was the weather came in today and it rained of all things. It was like freezing rain when Danielle hit the summit when I was looking for those antlers. And then the wind turned and it's blowing pretty hard out of the south. So we tied off this wall just to make sure because I couldn't anchor down to the ice. Uh, we tied it to a bait bucket full of water. So it shouldn't blow in on us or blow into the wood stove. So we took that precaution. And then we had one major malfunction today with the tote sled being empty. I backed up and it like got caught up and it just snapped that otter hitch off just like a twig the it's brand new it's like two days old or three days old and i think the welds were bad so we were gonna go to a log yard and see if we can get it welded and luckily uh jay at the 
Allagash Wilderness Waterway had an extra hitch that they're gonna let me borrow to get all the stuff out of here when we leave. And then if we, hopefully we remember to drop it off, Danielle's gonna do her best to remind me. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we gotta turn all the way home back. <laughs> you have to turn all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, well thanks again guys for tuning in. We're having a blast. We got uh, one maybe half day left tomorrow. We're thinking about setting for some brookies tomorrow and just having a great day and trying to get out of here before the big rain comes in, which rain, is no fun when you're winter ice camping. What do you think, Daniel? You want to sign out? Ah, uh, couldn't be better. Nice. Got back to the camp to see the tent still intact. Yes. No leakage either, because it had been raining on and off all day, so we were worried it might be a little wet in here, or it might have, one side might have blown down, or who knows. So we were able to get right in, and get the wood in the stove, warm up, and all of our stuff is pretty oh, yeah. much dry already. <laughs> I forgot to show the folks at home oh, yeah. everything hanging up. I've turned the I've turned the whole tent into my closet. Yeah, my stuff is hanging various <laughs> places too, but we got all sorts of stuff hanging and tucked in. That's the cool thing about the mm -hmm. about these Eskimos, or they have room for everything in them. And even these these side pouches are pretty awesome too, so. Yeah. And then the, the wood stove is just about heating us out. It's pretty perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and after that flash freeze last night, Danielle's uh, beautiful trout froze. So we didn't get a chance to fillet it today, but we're <laughs> thawing it out. So that way tomorrow midday we can thaw it and we'll either eat some of it or half. We might eat half of it tomorrow. If you, if you feel up to it or we could just fillet it and bring it home and she could cook it up at home, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Goodbye.